out here in the center. And now I'll hand it over to the next speakers who are already at the podium, already tell you, ready to tell you their story. Hi everyone, uh, just a quick uh, announcement. If you are here to present for the lightning talk, we request you come to this side uh, so that we can just get you set up in time. Um, and we'll now hand over to the next host, Joyce, who's gonna go up on stage and introduce the next line of speakers. Thank you very much. Hello everyone, I'm Joyce. I'm from Taiwan, from this region. My username is Joyce Wiki Wiki. So simple to remember. I'm your next host for the session of Z Technology Advocacy and ECF region for the Lightning Talk. Um, no more talking from me. Let's welcome our next speaker over there. Give an applause. Hello. I'm supposed to uh, uh, speak to you about freedom of panorama. So I guess I should start with defining what it is. Um, freedom pan of panorama is considered uh, uh, something of a confusing item. Uh, there is a confusion between public spaces and public domain. We're in public domain, which is the status after the expiration of copyright, signifies that a work can be freely reused. Germany is considered as the birthplace of freedom of panorama, having existed there since the 1870s. It is interesting to note the partial freedom of panorama in Japan, Taiwan, and even the United States, wherein their respective copyright laws only uh, impose non-commercial restrictions for images of public art. Similarly, in Europe, Denmark, Finland, and Norway, we have partial freedom of panorama. Whereas in Albania, Armenia, Austria, Belgium, Croatia, Cyprus, the Czech Republic, Germany, of course, Hungary, Ireland, Liechtenstein, Malta, Moldova, the Netherlands, North Macedonia, Poland, Portugal, Serbia, Slovakia, Spain, Sweden, Switzerland, Turkey, and Great Britain and Northern Ireland all have freedom of panorama. In my country, the Philippines, our National Congress is in the midst of pending legislative bills in both its lower and upper chambers, respectively, to institute freedom of panorama. My thematic Wikimedia organization, Filipinas Panorama Community, is actively monitoring developments and updating our meta page to contain all the legislative information as they develop as their outcome shall affect what images we need to share in Wikipedia projects. You may find out more about the information that we share in Meta. We have bills in the Philippine Senate and the Philippine Congress. We have actually more than one bill spending in both houses. I would also like to point out that further research can be done about fair use, which can be found in Meta. Um, we have uh, an exemption doctrine policy, which is required by Wikimedia licensing policies for any Wikimedia project that hosts non-free content. Some EDPs are listed at the Wikipedia item, Wikidata item, 
Wikipedia non-free content criteria, which has a number of 043-91089. Note that regardless of policy, some Wikimedia projects have zero local media files, and therefore, since there is no non-free content, if the situation is permanent, the policy may actually be superseded. We're almost done. Thank you, Johnny. This is such an important uh, topic within uh, the ECI region. I'm actually very happy that Taiwan is part yeah. of the presentation. So um, we can scroll up a bit. I still have a minute, I believe. Freedom of Panorama is the legal right in some countries to publish pictures of artworks, sculptures, paintings, buildings, or monuments that are in public spaces, even if they are still seconds. under copyright. Thank you very much. Thank you, Johnny.